friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Nell and this is Simba. <laughs> it was Simba. But today we are going to be doing a tucking style video, which was a requested video. And I'm so excited because I feel like this is one of those ways to kind of transform the clothing that you have that make it kind of look updated. I also feel like tucked in sweaters is just a really chic, effortless look. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different ways to tuck in your sweater. Obviously, they're not going to be drastically different, but they're just slight variations to kind of give yourself a different look. I'm also going to be showing you guys a bunch of different combinations of sweaters and bottoms so that depending on what you're trying to wear, you can tuck in your sweater appropriately. I really hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure to give a big inspired thumbs up and comment below if if you like to tuck in your sweaters or if you have any tips and tricks for sweater tucking and if you're new to the inspire family we would love it if you would join I think we're almost at 7,000 subscribers and honestly it means the world to me I joined the platform to really just make new friends so you guys being here really does mean so much to me also I think this is gonna be the last vlogmas video I think this is gonna be going up on the 23rd so tomorrow would be Christmas Eve and I didn't do like a vlog style every single day for vlogmas but I did try to make a little bit more videos that I think you guys would have liked so Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Anyhow, with that, let's get right into the tucking video. So before we dive right in, a couple few tips about the type of sweaters that you want to use to tuck in. One is keep in mind the sort of style of the sweater if there's anything in the front here that might get in the way of your tucking. So for example, I have a hoodie that has pockets in the front here, but it kind of looks a little funny when you tuck it in. So you want to avoid maybe pieces like that or totally use them. They just might look a little bit different. The other thing is the fit of your sweaters. So I typically like to go for a little bit more of an oversized sweater. It just gives you guys a little bit more material to play around with when you're tucking in and doing your folds. The other thing is the material of your sweater. So obviously you can tuck in any style of sweater, but obviously if it is a super, super thick or chunky fabric, it's gonna be a little bit harder to do some of these tucking styles. So just make sure to keep that in mind. But let's get into tucking. Okay, so first is the front tuck. This is probably the most basic of tucks. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the front of your sweater and tuck it in right where you see the button of your jeans or the middle um, of your crotch line. And you're just gonna fold it in a little bit there. You're gonna see a little bit of hanging action on the side here. Now you can leave it like that if you feel like it looks good already. But what I like to do typically is kind of fold up around it. So you kind of get this nice like asymmetrical line around the side of your sweater and then you kind of just um, manipulate it around so that you get a really nice uh, non messy tucked look so this is the very first easy way of how you front tuck your sweater full tuck. This one is pretty uh, self-explanatory, but what you want to do, I find that's really helpful, is you start again from the middle of your crotch line, kind of where your button is if you're wearing jeans, and then you kind of move around the sides of your pants or your bottoms. So I find that a really helpful tip is to flatten out your palm like this when you're tucking. What that'll do is it'll kind of create a seamless sort of tuck around so you won't get as many clumps and it'll kind of keep the sweater kind of properly aligned to your body. Now this already looks pretty good but what I tend to like to do is kind of pull out the sweater a bit around the edges so you don't really see your tuck line. You kind of have what I would call like a pooch bulge um, around your sweater and it kind of just makes it look a little bit more effortless and a little bit more of a relaxed look. For the next one, you're gonna wanna make sure you're either wearing a bra, I'm just wearing a regular wired bra, or you can go ahead and use a sports bra like one of these ones, or you can go ahead and use a bandeau. Now, what you wanna make sure to do is find a sports bra or a bra that has quite a cinched bottom here, which most bras do for support, and that's what you're gonna need to use for the bra tuck. So the bra tuck is if you want a little bit more of a cropped action to your sweater, it kind of transforms a full sweater into a cropped one. What you're going to do is, again, take the center of your sweater here and then start by bringing it up to the center of your bra. That's what I find 
to be really helpful and kind of just tuck it in and you're going to tuck it in as much as you want the fabric to kind of sort of go away and how high of a tuck you want. Start from the middle then work your way around kind of like scoop in your sweater into the bottom of your bra here. You can either do a full tuck or you can do a half tuck. I kind of like a half tuck so I'm going to leave it um, kind of hanging in the back but you can tuck it all the way around as well. What you're going to do after you've kind of tucked in your sweater again kind of use your hands flat to kind of smooth out um, everything so that your sweater is still fully well aligned and then you're kind of just gonna fold the rest of it down here and adjust appropriately but what this essentially does is it creates this sort of high low action to your sweater but in a way that bears your midriff if you are looking for a cropped sweater but don't have one And the last way I want to show you guys how to tuck your sweater is the side tuck. So for the side tuck, what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of in the middle of one of your thighs. You're going to take that area here instead of starting from the crotch line. Again, with a flat palm, tuck into your pants. Um, just about a hand's length and kind of leave it there. So far we've kind of got like a little bit of a messy look so what you're going to do again is kind of fold over around the sides of where that tuck is, maybe pull up your pants a little bit or your bottoms and kind of fold over so you don't see that tuck line. And what you've got here is a really nice subtle tuck. I find that the side tuck is actually the most effortless looking of the tucks. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a slouchy vibe to one side. I feel like it automatically adds a little bit of attitude you typically kind of like lean to the side where you kind of tucked in so it's a really cute look if you're going for something a little bit different from the front tuck and those are all the tucking techniques I use oh my gosh that's a mouthful tucking technique tucking techniques tucking techniques tucking technique but I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my outfits and show you guys what it looks like with other sweater bottom variations <laughs> this video. I hope you guys liked this tucking how-to. I'm thinking of doing more styling type videos like this, so if you have any recommendations, make sure to leave them in the comment box below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. As always, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up if you did like it. If you're new to the inspired family, of course we would love it if you would join us and subscribe. But with that, I want to take this moment to wish you guys an incredibly happy holiday season. Remember that the season is all about the joy and the people and the spirit of giving. I hope you guys have have an incredible one with your loved ones. But with that, I hope you guys have an inspiring day and an inspiring holiday season. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Simba, you gonna wish everybody a happy holidays? Happy holidays.